What's good? What's good, my brothers and sisters of the Briar to the YTPC community? Hope everything's going well. Hopefully, I'm going to make this video the correct way. I'm going to look at my camera and not my picture. That way, it doesn't look like I'm looking at somewhere else, but I'm actually looking at you and whatnot. But I hope everybody's doing well this evening. Thought I'd come to you, make a video, and it's kind of overdue. Uh, our, as right now, let give you a little bit of background. Right now, my morning ritual is to, one, get up, get dressed, get my coffee going, get in my car, get my pipe, tobacco, light up, and then watch Philly Papa Mike on my way to work. I got about a 35-minute to 40-minute drive. So by the time I get in my car, he has uploaded his video for the day, and I'm watching as I go to work. And normally, I am smoking my pipe as well. And um, if I get on the get on the road a little earlier than he comes on, I will usually make a video and then I'll watch it either for the remainder of the way or I'll watch when I get to my office. But all that being said and done, uh, Philly Piper Mike did a video a while ago and was talking about Virginia's. And this is the area where I lacked in because mainly I've smoked aromatics, flavored, and started smoking a couple years ago really getting heavy into the English. But in my small mind, it was English, Virginia's, Burley, Perique, Latakia, all in the same group. And actually it's not. So I learned that by listening to uh, Philly Papa Mike and how he really loves the Virginia's. So long story short, had a video, asked about some tins, if anybody wanted any, I reached out. He sent me uh, a package. So... I've already looked into it, but I'm actually I'm acting like I haven't looked into it. So here's the package, real quick, and this is what he sent me. He sent me the Cornell and Dell Carolina Red Flake with Perique. Ah, so I cheated a little bit. I, I opened the package before I did the video, but. Had an opportunity to uh, look at the tobacco. It is uh, almost in ribbons. So it have to be rubbed out. So my plan is to put this tin up, take this tobacco, rub it all out, and I'm either gonna put it in a jar or I'm gonna put it back in this tin. And I actually have a couple of um, humidifiers that I can put in here to keep it, um, prevent it from drying out. But I want to say a shout out to Philip Papa Mike for sending me two tins of the Carolina Red Flake uh, with Perique. And I'm looking, I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, actually, what I'm smoking tonight And by the way, this is a, what pipe is this? This pipe is a no-name no -name pipe. I have actually two of these. No, I don't. I take it back. I have one. Just this one. I want to say this is a basket pipe. No name. very rustic in its grain beautiful pipe nice little size but it does have a the hole is not the uh chamber is not that big but again nice so and i'm not sure if this is a split in the pipe or it's just part of the uh outward appearance but thus far as I've been smoking it, it's not, I can't, I can't tell if it's gotten any deeper or um, it hasn't split or anything like that. So it's been smoking pretty good. So this is one of my non, no, name, non, no name pipes. It's been a long day, so I can't, I can't talk. So all I have to say is this.
and I'm thinking it may be, it may be a split in the wood because I can hear myself, I can hear the um, the wind as I'm cleaning the pipe, and the pipe is pretty solid. Let's see, a little bit better. Okay, so again, listen to um, a lot of uh, Philly Papa Mike's uh, videos. I said, you know what? I'm sure I have some Virginias in my uh, pipe tobacco collection. I got a, a buttload of pipe tobacco. So I decided to go look. And I found out that I did. And some of the um, pipe tobacco that I said I really enjoyed were actually Virginias. So, what I'm smoking right now is the Lane Limited. This is the uh, 125 anniversary. And this one actually has Virginia's, bright Virginia's, and, and it's mixed with Virginia Flake, and it's a hint of Perique. I brought this tin years ago. And um, it's kept pretty well over the years. The uh, tobacco is not very dry. It's actually, it does have a hint of moisture to it. And I don't know why I can't keep the pipe going thus far. I don't know if it's the pipe tobacco or if it's just the uh, pipe itself. So, This lane was one of the tins that I had in my collection already, so I think I continued to look. And I also, plum cake, which is one of my favorites. Love plum cake, love plum cake, love plum cake. And again, it has a lot of the Virginias in there as well. Um, this one here has the, uh, the bright Virginias, mixed with burley, and uh, some Cavendish, as well as some uh, Syrian Latakia. So I'm sure everybody's familiar with plum cake, but love plum cake. I also have the uh, Presbyterian, has some jeans in there as well. And this is one that I brought this evening uh, the McBaron Virginia number no. one. I've seen this pipe tobacco many a time, but I have never tried it. So, the next two videos are going to be me giving my review on the Cornell and Dell Carolina Red Flake and then the McBaron Virginia number no. one. This one I'm going to smoke probably Thanksgiving Day. This one I'm going to do tomorrow. So hopefully you will see two videos from me uh, within the next couple of days uh, doing the uh, Virginia number one and the Carolina Red Flake. So again, thanks to Philly Papa Mike uh just and look here i'm not riding his coattails he just appears to be a great guy love his videos um subscribe to him i even went back and watched some of the videos back in the past and it's very educational very knowledgeable very informing uh it is uh inspire is re-sparked not that i lost my spark but it has re-sparked my love for the pipe for the briar 
And um, even though I smoke cigars also, uh, smoking a pipe is my first love. And um, I'm always trying to learn more, do more, be more when it comes to the pipe smoking lifestyle. So again, thanks for the pipe and mic. I also want to send a uh, shout out to N.W. Piper. I'm hoping I got that right. I need to start writing these names down. Uh, N. Pipe, N. W. Piper. He did a video today that uh, talked about um, haters on YouTube or haters on your page and whatnot. And everything he said was great. Everything he said was on point. Everything he said was on time. Uh, you gotta do this. My excuse me. You have to do this because you enjoy the pipe smoking lifestyle. You're not doing this to get likes. Well, I don't do this to get likes. I hardly ever even count likes. If someone responds or makes a comment, I'll read it. If it's negative, then I can decide if I'm going to respond to it. And normally, two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to respond to it in a nice way or I'm not going to respond to it. Uh, I don't believe in arguing or, arguing or be, you know, arguing over YouTube or Facebook over internet. It's not worth my time. But I do it because I enjoy it. And for those who enjoy my videos, great. For those who don't enjoy my videos but have, but have critical, um, critical criticism, I enjoy that. For those who just want to be buttholes, hey, it is what it is. Either you like it or not. And you have the right to subscribe or not subscribe. Or if you subscribe and you say you don't like it, to unsubscribe. I'm good. I'm going to continue to smoke my pipe, continue to learn about pipe smoking, tobaccos, and continue to enhance my life. So, N.W. Piper, thank you so much for that video. It was great. And um, continue. I enjoy your pipe smoking videos as well. Very informative. And um, I think I've, I've, I've actually subscribed to about 10 of 10 pipe smokers video uh, channels within the last week. I'm just having a little bit more time to get in there and look at the videos and listen to the content and then decide if I'm going to subscribe. So I'm glad that the pipe smoking community is continuing to grow. We all have different opinions. We all come from different backgrounds. But I believe that if we can come together and listen to what the other person has to say, I can always understand where you come from. I may not agree, but I can always understand. So that's a good thing about being able to actively listen and whatnot. But again, I'm not going to keep you long on this video. I'm actually going to change pipes. I'm actually going to go to my Butts and Chopin pipe. This is one that I brought years ago, so it doesn't even have a good cake in it yet. I smoked it maybe three times, the third time being today. And um, I think... I am going to try the Mac Baron Virginia number one in this pipe. So you should see a video from me sometime soon. Me smoking my Bush Japan with this tobacco. So hopefully you will tune in and let me know what you think and we'll go from there. So with that being said and done as always, be blessed, stay well, get vaccinated, Let's all try to do better. Have a happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. And I look forward to seeing you on the next go round. So until the next time, this is your the Omega. This is your man, the Omega Forever, coming to you. Close to Thanksgiving. Be blessed. Stay well. Peace. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care.